I've never seen anything like this. I guess it's the biggest snowfall of our lives. One that would be the perfect backdrop for the end. But is that what the end is supposed to look like? My life's been programmed since the beginning. The end's always been obvious, but who could have ever expected all the rest? My memories of the pre-birth period were terrible. I'm not surprised they risked a collapse. But today, everything is going right, so said the Superior Council. Vidor plan never fails. Nothing to worry about, they said. Are we sure? Anyway, I was born when I was 75. I can't complain about it. Door plan code 1138 confirmed. Subject has been assigned. Etta and I, we were meant to be together by the Vidor plan, I know, but I fell in love with her when I first saw her. I still love her. Rex, I can't stand it anymore. They say it's just a hormonal disorder, but that's not normal. I mean, it's been months. You're right, Etta. We can't help but believe them. Look, tomorrow we'll go to the doctor. I promise. Fine, madam. You may put your clothes back on. So what's the problem? No need to worry, please. Take a seat. Sir, madam, it is time for you to know. To know what? Visibly, this is not a hormonal disorder. I want to be clear. Look. The woman is a part of a genetic code retrieval program. A long time ago, before the Vidor plan was enforced, life was going backwards. Death was governed by chance, and so is life. But we can control chance. For this reason, every 50 years, we need the conception and sacrifice of a baby to take advantage of his genetic code and create new human beings. In other words, what I'm trying to tell you is that you are pregnant, madam. You're expecting a baby. But don't worry. Soon you will be called for the birth procedure. After that, your life will return to normal.
feel? I don't know. It's weird. I know. For me too. But I don't know why, but I'm feeling strangely happy. Right? Or maybe... Etta, I want to ask you something and whatever you answer, just remember. Don't say anything. When the doctor told us that... that thing... I felt like for the first time my eyes were open to a brave new world. And it sounds odd, but the first thing I thought was that if our baby would be a boy, I would like to call him Alexander. We have to leave. Are you sure you want to do this? There's no going back. I know. The only place where they won't find us is in the desert. So we leave tomorrow. Let's go. Hell? Okay, no time. Let's go. observing your suspicious movements. The Superior Council would like to remind you that we need the baby. It's our son! Let us go! Well, technically, this is your son, but in practice, it's ours. It's of all mankind. You're requested to hand over your wife, and the Superior Council will forget this unpleasant setback. You can't just take my wife and my son! This is the key element to the V-Door plan! No! You leave us no choice. Catch them. Is that clear? Your wife recovered from the hormonal disorder, but don't worry. Now you can return to your quiet and happy life as usual. Remember that the Vidor plan never fails. Will you remember? Yes, I remember. 20 years playing the roles of father and mother. The only way we have to keep going is to pretend that it's only a child's game. Pretend that it's fake when in fact it was the only real thing that happened to us. Fake. Like this snow. But now that we're close to the end, I'm not afraid. I enjoy playing this game with you. And look. Look how beautiful the snow is.
será 